This is Full of Bull, episode number 11. It's been quite a while since I posted the last episode. Uh, this one will be relatively short, and then my plan is to get back on a, at least every other week uh, posting uh, a video. Um, so thank you for checking it out. Um, I have underestimated how difficult it is to keep up with all this stuff and my normal uh, things that I do. <laughs> so uh, that's the reason for the inconsistency. So I totally have respect for those people who have been very good at their blogs and their vlogs and being extremely consistent with it. So, uh, but either way, thank you for checking this out. Um, and a couple of things I want to talk about. I want to tell you a story uh, about when I was growing up. Um, I want to talk about a uh, blog post and tell you about a significant change in my life. So on the blog, uh, you'll see uh, one, there's a uh, recent post uh, about making memories. Um, the picture is uh, of my son and my nephew, uh, who are, you know, uh, my nephew is with us all the time, so, you know, he's a huge part of our life. Um, but it's really, the, the blog is really just about our view on how, how we go about making those memories uh, with family, with friends, you know, that kind of thing. And the importance of focusing on those moments that you're going to remember. Because the reality is that, you know, when that moment's passed, the memory is all you have. The, the reminiscing with the family or with friends and, you know, what you remember of that situation and the pictures that you took. You know, that's the only thing that, uh, that's going to be left. And, you know, there's a reason that, <laughs> that we don't put, you know, the bad situations and pictures of those, those bad times on our walls. You know, we want to remember those milestones, those moments that get us from, from day to day, even when things are tough. Um, you know, so that really is just about the importance that I put, my wife and I put on, on that. Um, speaking of making memories, so we have a significant change in our life. Uh, our daughter was born uh, two and a half weeks ago. So that's been a huge change and I didn't really think that having a girl was going to be that much different, but it feels totally different. And I'm amazed. It's, it's so cool. Uh, obviously she's a baby, so she doesn't do a whole lot, <laughs> but she's beautiful and I couldn't be more excited. And our son is, is happy. He, he loves having her around. He's already protective of her. Um, and you know, there, there hasn't been the jealousy and or any of those issues that we were actually worried about. So we're extremely excited to, to make that announcement. Um, and so, you know, one of the things that we've done for our children is to set up email addresses because you know today we take a lot of pictures but I know if, if you're like me I don't print any of them out so I have I literally have picture frames from traveling that don't have any pictures in them um, so if you're ever gonna give me a picture frame please put a picture in there um, but so what we've done is we've created email addresses and then any uh, significant moments birthday cards photos letters notes any of that we just send it to them to that email address and the idea is that when they're 18 then we're gonna give them the password and they can kind of see about their life and about uh, growing up the things they remember the things that they don't remember um, you know so it's it's really easy uh, you know you don't have to email everything honestly you can you can text to email and so that's typically what we do we'll send the pictures we'll send the videos we'll send those things uh, to their email via text it's automatic you know, Gmail has a ton of storage, and so really don't even have to worry about it. You know, I think when they're about four or five, we might end up having to pay for some extra storage, but until then, I think we should be good. Um, so that's, you know, a big point of how, you know, we focus on making memories with them specifically is documenting that so that they have that uh, when they're older. So if you feel like stealing that idea, go ahead, because I stole it from somebody else already. So as I said, this is gonna be a quick video. Uh, but I want to tell you a quick story um, about growing up. So my dad was a police officer. A lot of my family were, were police officers. Um, I almost followed in that path. Um, and so my dad was really focused on when you become an adult, here's what you can do. When you're an adult, this is what you can do. And obviously 18 in the US is you're an adult. And so my whole life, he used to tell me, well, when you're 18, you can do this. When you're 18, you can do this. You can do whatever you want when you're 18. So when I was 18, which was my senior year of high school, one of my friends had, uh, had moved out of his house. So he had an apartment, him and this other guy had an apartment together. And so by the time I was 18, he had this apartment and I would, 
I started spending the weekends over there. So I would, you know, kind of go there on Friday night, you know, stay, stay most of Saturday, you know, maybe Saturday night, one or two nights. And I wasn't calling my parents to let them know because my dad, my whole life had built in, when you're 18, you can do this. When you're 18, you can do this. And then one night I came home, it was probably like four or 5 a.m. And he was sitting up waiting for me and he was like, hey, you didn't call me. I was like, you told me my whole life that when I'm 18, that I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and so those words came back to bite him in the butt. And, you know, but at that point, you know, he was respectful enough that he said, you know, you right, I did tell you that, I have told you that, but I would appreciate it if you just gave me a heads up when you're not gonna come home. I was perfectly fine with that, and moving forward, I, I did that. But this is a lesson that I've learned as a parent, that when you think that you have that, that master key, that you think you have that trump card, be careful when you play that trump card. Be careful you know, when you leverage that, especially over and over, because it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass, just like it did, just like it did for my dad. Um, so just keep that in mind. I've tried to be consistent with that and, you know, not, not fall into that trap of, you know, making rules for rules versus being willing to explain or, you know, or talk to my, uh, my kids. So, uh, just a recommendation from someone who has been on the other side and is now, uh, is now on the parenting side. All right. So thank you for checking this out. Um, you will have a, actually see a new blog post in the next few days, probably in the next week for sure, uh, but probably three or four days. Um, and I hope to get a video out in the next week and then after that every two weeks. Uh, but for sure every two weeks I'm going to commit to that and get that done. And uh, I hope you guys uh, check it out. All right. Thank you very much.